Hello from inside my closet. Today's video is obviously a big closet clean out or a spring closet edit, if you will. This is my first time sharing a video like this, taking you deep inside my closet and sharing more of my full wardrobe and collections. And I've gotta say it feels a little bit vulnerable, but I'm very excited because I personally love watching videos like this. And I've been watching a ton recently to try to get ideas for how I might do my own closet edit and make this video actually interesting, informative, and like fun to watch. So I'm excited for you to see it all. I'm gonna be not only sharing the pieces from my closet and doing some try on and styling with that, but I'm also gonna go through several different techniques that you might use in your own closet edit at home. We are pretty much doing everything but the Marie Kondo method. I'm not gonna be taking everything out of the closet and then putting everything back in. We love her, but that's not our journey. But I will show you a few of the techniques that I love using when I'm going through my closet and we'll just combine everything and we'll take my closet from here to there. So we've got a ton of work to do, so let's get into it. Okay, let me give you a quick rundown of the closet. I have this whole side of the closet and my shoe pile here and those shelves. This is my boyfriend's side of the closet, which you can see he has plenty of space left. Mine is packed completely tight on the top and the bottom. I fold all of my like sweatshirts and t-shirts and a lot of my sweaters I try to fold. I do appreciate having all of these shelves because I like to have stuff out where I can actually see everything that I have instead of tucked into drawers. So I actually don't really have any drawers that I work with. I have pants, jeans, my belts, these drawers have just basic tank tops and leggings. And then normally I have my sweats there, but I'm doing laundry today. And then those are all jean shorts. I have shoes piling up under my clothes. Normally I do organize everything by category, but right now I've just been putting stuff back as I've been doing laundry and doing hauls and styling stuff. I've been just shoving it on the end instead of categorizing. So everything's also really mixed up right now. I keep a hanging bar on my closet that has five hooks here so I can actually hang up different outfits ahead of time and have them ready to go for the week normally. It also becomes a catch all for me to just like shove items that I haven't put away or that I think I might wanna wear soon but haven't styled. So I have just some random items hanging here. And then behind this door, I have a clothes rack with all of my dresses on it. I really want to replace this rack as well. That's going to be part of the process is to put something that's actually mounted to the wall instead of a rolling rack because it doesn't need to go anywhere. I also right now have this laundry basket just overflowing with things that I have styled recently or washed recently and have not put away yet. I do have one dresser, but I only use these two drawers and I have my like workout clothes, swimsuits, and a couple of like sets of yard work or painting clothes. And then I have like my socks and underwear in that bottom drawer. But everything else lives in the closet. I am someone who normally likes to have a pretty tidy and organized closet. I think right now we're at like DEFCON 2 with the situation because so much of my stuff is like mixed together out of category or color sorting, which I normally like to keep organized that way. And then I've also got a lot of just like cleaning up to do refolding. And then I also just need to get more stuff out of here. I always love to go through and edit the items that I'm actually wearing with the pieces that are gonna serve me better during the season. Fortunately, right now I've got storage in my basement so I can pull more of my warm like winter clothing and just store that away. But it's also time for me to say goodbye to a lot of things because as you know, I thrift a lot. I've been playing with my style a ton the past year and I'm starting to learn things that are gonna help me decide where to go from here. So the first technique we're gonna use is really straightforward. This is just simple go through and get rid of stuff time. I'm gonna call this the culling. It's time to just go through and start pulling out pieces that I know have gotta go. The culling. Let's cull this bitch. Oh, I was, I was looking for this this morning. <laughs> there it is. I'm gonna wear you. 
And as I go through, I'm gonna be sorting these into things that I wanna resell on Poshmark and Depop and things that I think I'm just gonna donate. In addition to going to Goodwill and some of my local thrift stores, I love to make my donations through my local Facebook Buy Nothing group. It's a great way to give away your clothing and know that it's going directly into the hands of somebody who's gonna wear it instead of risking it going through a place like Goodwill where things can still get pulled and sent into a landfill anyway. So if you like that idea, you can check out if you've got a neighborhood Facebook Buy Nothing group. This is going okay so far. I'm not pulling as many pieces as I thought I would be able to easily grab. So I think I'm just in a mode of overthinking and as I get into the zone, I'm gonna be able to like be a little bit stronger on this. Plus I've got a couple more techniques to bring back around as we go through that are gonna help me decide on some of those like tougher pieces to pull out of there. All right, let's look at the dresses. for today <laughs> all right come back to dresses <laughs> it is time to tackle this basket of clothing <laughs> these are all just random things that have not been put away sometimes when I'm styling a lot of outfits back to back I'll just fold it and put it in a basket instead of away in the closet and then I've also had clean laundry pile up in here and then I also just ran out of room to put stuff away in the closet so so it's time to sort and organize and potentially say goodbye to a couple things. And just put on some Netflix in the background so I can enjoy myself while I do this tedious task. <laughs> oh, yes. oh my God, Pacey, oh my God. you are not yeah, fooling just anyone, see. okay? Look, just go see. I hate Pacey Witter, like he is the worst. I hate Pacey, but I also hate Joey. Like I think they both could do better. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like I'm making it worse right now. <laughs> Just shoving things where they can go. Basic tees, graphic tees, jeans and pants, and jeans, and jeans, and jeans. And jeans. Oh, and jeans. Oh. Scarf, sweater, sweater. Oh, and something fell over there. What's that? Oh my gosh. Do so you know when you're cleaning, like everything gets worse before it gets better? I could just take a nap right now. All right, so the reason I wanted to sort my big piles by category is because I think I'm gonna pull everything I have from each category, go through like all of my graphic tees and decide if I'm gonna get rid of any of them and then also like neatly fold them up and organize them into my folded piles to put them back in the closet. I'm gonna start with the sweatshirts because I think that's like pretty easy and it's a little bit smaller like overall collection. Yeah, sweatshirts are kind of life right now, so I did not get rid of any. Now I wanna go through all of my t-shirts and I think I wanna kind of show you a lot of my graphic tees because there's probably a lot that you haven't seen and again, I think graphic tees have so much personality that it could be really fun. Listen to this, listen. <sighs> I have like B 
beer tees, band tees, and then other random graphic tees. And I have like fist ball tees. <laughs> with all the dollar t-shirts that one time. Babe. Yeah, I got rid of just three items out of that stack. The graphic tees are really hard for me to get rid of. Let's organize the jeans. So I only pulled out three pairs of jeans to get rid of and I'm kind of pissed at myself. <laughs> I am shocked. I am shocked that I feel like I do actually need this many pairs of jeans, but I'm looking at them going, all of these are things that I regularly wear and reach for. So I really don't want to just get rid of things just to get rid of them. Like I want to get rid of things that I don't have use for, right? I can't believe I actually wear all of these jeans. When? I love my jeans. I have two shelves. I have only two shelves to fit these on. Burger's helping. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. staple pieces like this are so hard for me to get rid of because I feel like this is kind of timeless and classic but it has like a cute Peter Pan collar which is a nice feature that could be a little bit trendy as a layering piece and then this one also like just a flowy white blouse it's great in the summer and it's lightweight and it has the cute little flutter sleeves and the button detail that make it a little bit special so some of these pieces have been in my closet for a long time but they're not things that I reach for this is like a perfect example of something that feels like the old me if you will <laughs> um this type of cut of like a sleeveless um collared shirt i actually love that style and how like how it looks on me but it's feeling like it's just no longer me anymore do you know what i mean so i'm really tempted to say goodbye to it but i'm also really tempted to keep it it's a tough one like i don't want to be looking for this style later and not have something all ready to go in my closet. I think that mindset is like really difficult to get around when you're cleaning out your closet that you won't want to reach for something later even if you're not like currently super into it. Does it spark joy? Wait, no, we're not doing that. No, just get rid of it. This is a toughie. I got this pencil skirt for free from a neighbor and I think it fits nicely. It has belt loops, which is cool, no pockets. 
It has these little pinstripes on it and I had in my mind several different ways I wanted to style it. I knew exactly how I wanted to wear it but I have never worn that outfit because I felt like I never had like a good occasion to wear it. So as I'm getting into these tougher items, I think it's time to move on to a more effective method. The next method I want to try is diving a little bit deeper into helping me decide on some more difficult items. And I'm going to call this the fitting room method. The idea is that you actually try on pieces that you're not sure if you want to keep them or not and decide as if you were finding it in a store that day, would you purchase it again? So I've pulled some challenging pieces and we're going to go try them on. These are my items to try on in the fitting room and the stack of pants here. So now we're done and the fitting room method was really effective at letting me get rid of some things. I only kept this and the two pairs of jeans. It's definitely more time consuming but was really effective and helpful for getting rid of some old stuff that I wasn't sure about. The last method we're going to use is probably the most comprehensive, most thoughtful way to edit your closet. I am stealing this straight from Alison Bornstein, who is a professional stylist and an influencer on YouTube and Instagram. She has a five step method that we're going to go through. The first step with this closet editing method is to pull out things that you always wear. It's the things that you reach for that you're actually wearing every day. It's not about things that you really love. It's not about your favorite pieces. It's not things like you're literally wearing. Step two in this system, we're going to pull out things that I never wear. And here is all of the never wear stuff. So the next step is to break up those never worn pieces into a few categories. And it's going to be no things that don't need them, don't want them, don't work for me. I'm ready to get rid of. Not now, which are things that maybe are still never worn, but I'm not ready to get rid of them. For me, it's gonna be like a lot of seasonal items that are moving out of season. And then there's the how category. Things that I have that I never wear, but maybe it's because I don't know quite how I wanna style them. Those are gonna be in the how category. But here is the pile of all the things I will gift or resell. Here's the pile of gift or resell sweaters. Here's the pile of gift or resell pants. Okay, these are never items that I think are gonna be a no. Some of these is just about like the fit or the style that I always have trouble styling. So these are all not now items that are gonna be stored away. It's just sweaters right now. Here is the hanger pile of the progress we've made. Here's more not now items. Again, these feel very seasonal to me. Like I did keep a couple of turtlenecks out, but these darker like autumn colors and stuff just aren't gonna work for me for a while. So I'm gonna put those in storage. The next thing to do is take those how pieces and remix them in with the regular pieces, the things I'm always wearing. So we're gonna actually style up some of these how pieces for me. All right, so we've come to my styling rack. These are my how pieces that I've pulled that I still really like, but I haven't been reaching for because I need to play with the styling a little bit and get some fresh ideas. So we're gonna style these pieces up. So now we're supposed to mix some of our always worn items with these how items. 
So you can see I've shuffled in here a few pieces that I always wear, blue jeans, a leather skirt, a band t-shirt, a good blazer, and I think that's gonna help me style up these how pieces. I'm thinking this band tee would look awesome with the pin pinstripe skirt, I've been wanting to try that. I even think I could pull over this blazer that I haven't known what to do with. My leather skirt goes with uh, this cropped fun graphic sweatshirt that I haven't worn yet. I actually saw this as a Pinterest look and have been wanting to try it. Then I've got this polo and this vest that I have thrifted recently and never worn. I kind of thought they could go together, but this is a Lacoste polo. I don't want to cover up the logo and I'm worried it might be too oversized. So I've also got another t-shirt to try and I also think this could be cute with the blazer layered over it. So I might kind of mix up a lot of these pieces, but let's just get started. so happy to do that now at this point and I had been looking forward to upgrading a couple of the shelving pieces that I have and just getting everything nice and neat and finalized. So we're actually gonna break out the power tools and we are gonna make this closet in like tip-top shape. Closet clean out, closet clean out, closet clean out, clean out, closet clean out. I am actually so tired. <laughs> I gotta get this done. <laughs> it's got to be done. It's got to be today. So I gotta like amp myself up here. Like let's let's do it. Let's get a, a clean closet. Let's get a clean slate for 2021. Okay, here's an update after everything is pretty much sorted and organized and refolded. Now it's time to tackle some organization on the shoes and my dresses. Hey, so it's day two of a closet organization. I feel like you can tell in my face, like I am wiped out. Don't mind how like terribly tired I look. I am excited though, because one of the big things that my boyfriend's gonna help me do today is put up a new wall mounted dress rack so I can get rid of that rolling rack that you saw is literally falling apart <laughs> and it will be a nice wall mounted bar and we'll put a shelf on top eventually. Then we'll tackle the shoes by putting in a new shoe shelf in the closet. Okay, I am sitting in my closet because I'm an adult and I'm going to just move all of my shoes and put them like in a laundry basket to get them out of the way because we're gonna put in some shelves here. I actually found this little rack on the curb when neighbor was throwing it away like four years ago and I've had it ever since for, for shoe storage. So uh, for a little freebie, this was like a really good, this was a really good find but it served its purpose and now it's time to get something better. All right, we're back at it. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a few days. Like, life happens. I actually had to film a completely different video today and pull out tons of stuff from my closet and all of my shoes and everything. So I basically like two steps forward, one step back with this process. But you can see behind me that the shoe shelves are done. I love them so much. My boyfriend did these built-ins and he made it even so that they wrap around the corner so it's like maximizing the storage down there. Isn't that genius? I love it. So 
I'm just gonna put my shoes away and like organize them by category. So this is gonna be very satisfying. <laughs> The bad news is I have this entire basket overflowing with shoes. So thanks for coming along for my closet clean out. I am so happy with the final result. I especially love the built-ins that my boyfriend helped me do, so thank you to him. And I hope you enjoyed and maybe picked up some tips that you could use in your own closet. If you have any questions, leave me comments. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys next week. The first step is to pull out things that you never wear. No, it's not that. That's not the first step. <laughs> That's the second one. That's the second step. Shit. Organize it by color. That's a little tough to do because the tees have different colors on them. I don't know. Yeah, fuck it. I'm not doing that. Perfect. <laughs> We're all blinded by these lights. It's like literally blinding the shot here. <laughs> Dorky joke. This is dumb. Hats and bangs. Hats and bangs. Boats and hoes. Hats and bangs. Just excellent combos. <laughs> excellent combos all. Hoes and bangs. Hi from the inside. Hello, what makes a closet, and I, because I also want, <clears throat> so this is like the not now pile. Don't do the, don't do the, don't do air quotes. I feel like I, how many times have I done air quotes already in this video? Stop. Do I look tired? I look, I look tired. Life hack, use lighting to make yourself look less tired than you really are. Yeah, I'm getting an update on how much we were pooped like, on his walk. Like, yeah, okay, we'll so how much did he poop? A uh, normal amount. Let's see, that's great. Good boy. He's a good boy. Did he eat dinner? Yeah, he did. Good boy. Yes, you are. Look at you. What happened, Smiley? Smiley.